Genesis 25, 1 through 6. Abraham married a second time. His new wife was named Keturah. He gave birth to Zerun, Jokin, Midian, 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 Ishbak, and Sherah. So here's a little bit. First off, the only name we really know is Midian. Which is interesting because Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, was a priest of Midian, which was an area at that time. It doesn't specify Jethro serving any other god. And ideally, he may have served the same god Abraham did, the true god. Um, It's possible he didn't. But uh, one theory was that Abraham remarried. Another possibility is after Hagar left, they had another handmaiden, and, and he ended up taking her as a wife after Sarah's loss. It's possible. Either scenario, both would have been traditionally done. Um, because the reason I say that there is because it talks about the wife of children of his concubine. And Ishmael was a children of a concubine, but if this was a secondary, it was another new wife, which leads me to believe it was a concubine. It was her handmaiden, and he just married her after her passing. Um, Dedan's Jokin, Joshkin had Sheba and Dedan. Dedan's the descendants of Shuriam. The Leshams and Lenin. Midian had Ephraim, Ephor, Hadok, Abadah, all the, all the net time to the line of character. So, this is all his descendants from this wife. Um, many nations and promises fulfilled, being fulfilled. Nations. That doesn't just mean Israel, although Israel is the blessed nation. Nations means that he had many. It's likely that all the children of the Middle East are descendants of Abraham somehow, in some form. At least they claim to be. Um, But Abraham gave everything he possessed to Isaac, because Isaac was a promised child. Isaac was the God-chosen heir. And typically, based off that tradition, it would have went to Ishmael being the oldest, but considering he's a wife of a concubine, tradition still states that it would have went to Isaac. Um, although if something happened to Isaac, then Ishmael would have been the heir, um, I believe, under customs. But either way, it wasn't customary. Why? It was given to Isaac because Isaac was the one that was promised to be given to while he was still living. So he becomes an heir while Abraham's alive, which kind of signifies when Isaac's getting married, the servant refers to Isaac as his master. Because at that time, it's likely that this has happened. Yeah, there's still respect for Abraham, but Isaac's in charge of the household. Which is why that Isaac just immediately puts his wife in his mother's old tent. Because he owns everything. It's likely at that point he would have. He gave gifts to the sons he had by his concubines. Most likely before he passed away. But then sent them away. To the country of the east, put a good distance between them and his son Isaac. Now, this would have been after they were grown. I, I think the idea is Ishmael would have eventually went away, but he had to go away as a boy based off of it. And God's plan was for them to go away as they were older. Now, he could have been very old at this point. Or he could have gave them gifts and sent them away as Isaac was given the household. But considering there's tendency to look that Isaac was given the house before 
Abraham as during that time, unless there's a transitional period, they would have been there because they would have been after Isaac was married. Um, but either way, God's plans fulfilled here. Abraham fathers many nations here um, because of this, and also because of this, Isaac's given. The inheritance. While it seems a vague passage of scripture, it shows in the significance is that many nations came from Abraham. 